We were gifted this wonderful opportunity by the former superintendent. She was an alumni here at Heights, and we were one of the last high schools to get a keeper. She gave this to us just for her love of Heights and to celebrate her time here. It is called the Keeper of the Falcons. We all did parts of everything. Like we all worked on planning. We all painted different areas. Probably the biggest parts that I painted are I did a lot of the landscape work up in here and also the clouds. I would say my biggest contribution was the AA feathers at the top because we have uh, different feathers, such a different uh, native Kansas uh, feathers for different falcons. The, uh, Kestrel, the Peregrine Falcon, the Prairie Falcon, and the Merlin. I came up with like the very basic design of the Falcons going around. We were actually having a bit of difficulty when we were creating it, and I actually, uh, on my own time, created this. It was a bit difficult at first to understand how it all came together, but I just asked my teacher for a large piece of watercolor paper, and I painted all over it. <laughs> and it really helped us understand the piece. I painted this realistic falcon at the base, and I had to do a bunch of studies just to figure out like how, because f- I, I had never drawn birds before, before this. I'm like, and I wasn't particularly stoked about drawing like, how many falcons do we have on here? Man, there's so many falcons on this thing. <laughs> I don't think any of us were acquainted with how to draw falcons. We didn't, we, had, we hadn't developed like a full style before we actually got it on the actual keeper. We had to put it on its side on two chairs to be able to paint the feathers up here. And when we were painting the letters down here, we had to be bending over and contorting because it was down on the ground here. That's a really big thing about this project is like we were so dedicated to getting it just right because we knew it was going to be in front of the whole school, we needed to make it look good for heights. They wanted to bring in the natural landscape of Kansas, something similar to where our Native American ancestors lived. There's the two rivers that come together. So it tells that natural story. When we added this realistic bird at the base, we were like, this doesn't really, it doesn't really fit when it's this just one color. So we had to come up with a way to make them still be abstract while still having that single color, really. We really wanted our symbolism. It's about like reaching heights, like heights, (laughs) haha. So our falcons are flying up into the sky. It's kind of like symbolism about like reaching dreams, getting, doing just impressive things as a result of being here at the school. I was so impressed that these three students really didn't approach this with a student mindset. They were so courageous and so confident of of really coming in as professionals and making a piece that I feel without a doubt ranks with any other professional art that's out in this public art that's in this town. It still astounds me that three students pulled off such a serious piece of art. It is a portfolio piece. Like this is something that would show up if I'm applying for a job later. This is really an accomplishment. Really nice memories to look back on in the future. This is really cool thing to show off how much like work we'll put in to our, our school and improving ourselves as artists. As a group, we decided that it would be very symbolic if I painted the nest part of it as a symbol for this bond that we have in this art department and the way that these classes are really building strong communities here and bonds. We have like a really good art program here. I Even if it's small, we have like such like dedicated people and we really want to do something here in Wichita, even if it's just for our school. This is really cool thing to show off how much like work we'll put in to our school and improving ourselves as artists. I really hope it can become some sort of focal point for the school's culture, for the art program, and just everything that goes along with that.